Sorting pictures, objects, and written words by their sounds helps to promote children's phonemic awareness. In this classroom, children are learning to sort pictures by the first sound in each word. Today, you're going to see me with my pre-K students doing a letter sort, and we're going to begin that by singing the song, Mr. Golden Sun, and then a variation called Mr. Silver Moon. After that, we're going to draw attention to the different sounds, the letter S and the letter M, and then put pictures that correspond with those two sounds. When we did the morning message today, we said we are going to sing two songs, Mr. Golden, and Mr. Silver, I have the words on this paper for Mr. Golden's song. So we'll do that one first. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. And then he had a friend. What was his friend's name? Moon. And what color was that moon? It was kind of a gray, a sparkly gray, and they call that sparkly gray a silver. So here's Mr. Moon. Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, Mr. Silver Moon, glowing as I sleep. Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, Mr. Silver Moon, softly not a peep. Why was he so quiet? Because we're trying to sleep, you're right. You might have noticed something. When we sang about Mr. Sun, they said his name a lot. When they said his name, his name starts with a s. Hmm. Sun. What letter would that be? Hmm. C. It sounds like a C, but there's a different letter that makes that sound. S. An S. So we're going to look for the letter S in the poem. If we look at the first lines of this poem, do you see any letter S? Um. Let's look at this first one. <laughs> yeah, and I, what I'll do is I'll put a circle around there. Do you I see any other lessons? There. Right. Like there. You found another one. Thank you. Could you find another one, please? There's another S for sun. Let's find some more. There's his name again, sun. The class that I have this year really likes to sing, and we really like the song Mr. Golden Sun. And one of my friends taught me there's a variation called Mr. Silver Moon. So I thought it'd be really fun to have my students play with the different sounds in the two songs. So we found the S's for Mr. Golden Sun. But now he has his friend, Mr. Silver Moon. So it sounds like Marjan's letter. M. 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 So let's see if we could find a big uppercase M. There's an M, and we'll put a circle around there. This is like a W. It kind of looks like a W when it's turned upside down. You're right. Let's see if we could find more in Mr. Moon's name. Mm -hmm. mm. You're right. There's two more. Let's see. His name's on here a lot. Do you see it in, over here? Mm. Mm. That way. There is another one in Mr. You're right. And this one, and this one you're finding a lot today. We have a lot of letter detectors. <laughs> one of the things that's really important for my pre-K students is to have a concept of different sounds. And one thing I do is a lot of sorts. So we played with the Mr. Sun, the letter S, and the Mr. Moon, the M, to use that as a basis for the sorting. I'm ready to give you a paper now. You might notice something on it. You're welcome. What do you notice on that paper? Hmm. There is a sun and a moon. So when we talked about Mr. Sun, we went Mr. S sun. And when we talked about Mr. Moon, we talked about Mr. Moon. I have something else to show you. Keep your paper still. I'm going to show you some pictures. And I want you to talk to me about what they are. Sock. Sock. Sun. Is that a sun or a sock? Sun. Okay. Oh, I think you're getting ahead of me. So if we had this paper, I think you know what you're, I'm going to do next. I'll turn mine this way. This is a sock. So where would I put it? Sun. Why? Because it's S. Oh. All right, let's choose a different one. What do you think that might be? Cup. It looks like a cup, but sometimes when you have something really hot, you put it in a mug. 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 Oh, mug. And where would that be? Moon. Moon. Moon for mug. Let's see. Oh, this is an animal that likes water. This is a seal. 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 I say Sun. Sun. All right, I think you know exactly what I'm doing. So what I have is I have a tray for each of you. 
and we're going to see if we could do this together. Let's see if we can find out where, which picture is going under Mr. Moon and which one's going under Mr. Sun. Students were doing a letter sound sort with the S for the sun and the M for the moon. So I had some pictures done ahead of time where they would have to see if they go with Mr. Moon or with Mr. Sun. And I feel they're really successful with that. Why did you put your monkey there? Because. Because what? And it starts at the end. It does. Um, makes the sound, same monkey. sound. Yeah. I, have um, monkey. I got two monkeys. You have two monkeys? Can I see that one? All right, that is a monkey. Where does that one go? Mm, monkey. All right, so you put the mouse, or the mug, okay. and the monkey, and the moon together. What did you have under this side? Socks. And what do you think that is? Oh, let's, let's stop for a pause for a minute. This one, if you were taking a shower, sometimes you use this to get clean. But it had to be dry. Yep, and the, before you get dry, you put soap on. So you put soap under S sun, you're right. Now this one, when it's cold out, you might put this on your hands. Glove. It's not a glove. Mitten. It's a mitten. Where would mitten go? Right. M. M, you're right. Bum. So you have your mitten. Bum. Let's find if it goes like Bum. moon or Bum. sun. Bum. Mitten. Um, I have two more. There you go. Keep trying them. Go look at some other friends. One of the things that's so important for pre-K literacy is that they have good phonological awareness. So it was really intentional that I did this with the letter sounds. What do you have so far? Tell me about these ones. Monkey, mouse, oh, mitten, sock, sail. Soap. Soap. Soap goes there too. Now this is the one that Olivia and I were talking about. This is a special boat, sailboat. Where would your sailboat go? Why? Because. Because what? The sun sound. Put it down. You have one last sort. This is the one we thought was this a cup, but it's a different here. name. The this mug. One. You got it. Thank you for showing me. The way I look at phonological awareness is hearing the sounds and words, and that's really important. So we might do a lot of songs where they do the sounds in their names or sounds and poems that they know. And that's really important before you learn how to read and write that you have that down. And speaking of Mr. Moon and Mr. Sun, we found all their letters and we sorted them. So before we end small group time, let's sing one more time about Mr. Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. I wonder if he is hiding in the shade. And then he had his friend that starts with the M, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon. Let's sing about him one more time. Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, Mr. Silver Moon, glowing as I sleep. Oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, Mr. Silver Moon, quietly not a peep. Learn more at literacyessentials.org.